So what we're going to learn now is how to hold the sword. Everyone that has a sword must learn how to hold the sword. So I'm using here just a military trainer, Italian military trainer from the late Victorian period. And you see it's got the grip, it's got this back strap, and it's got the bell. And you are going to want to put your thumb on the back strap and the rest of your fingers around the bell. And it works like this. So with the saber out, just make a pistol, put that finger underneath there, grab it like this, and that's really all you need to hold the weapon. The other fingers just curl around to give it some support. So all in all, it looks like this, and we are able to cut with our fingers thusly with the blade. This is very important. We don't hold it and hammer with it. We cut it. It's a knife and we are going to slice with it in that manner. All right, so this method can be used with a lot of different weapons available in the Victorian times. The basic being just the stick. This is a rattan stick, which uh, the Victorians often called bamboo. And you can get this, you're gonna hold it the same way, thumb up, and you can do anything that we do here. So if you have a stick lying around, um, then grab that and you can practice with us. Another option is the cane. So just any old cane will work. Use it, grip it down here as if it was a saber and you can do everything that we're going to do today with this weapon as well. You should have one of those laying around the house. If that, if you, you might be um, an old time Victorian martial artist, in which case you have a uh, Bartitsu cane. Um, I recommend for what we're doing today to flip it around. I know Barton Wright wants you to hold it with a mace on the top, but to get the balance right for what we're doing, hold it down at the bottom, and then this is perfectly balanced and very, very handy for what we're doing. It's a great, great little weapon. If you have one, use it. Are uh, another weapon. Maybe you are of the rougher sort and a belaying pin. Just grab your handy belaying pin. It's not going to have the length that we need, but you won't be smashing things in your house either. So belaying pins can be used exactly the same way as any saber. This is a uh, cutlass trainer made by Purple Heart Armories. Uh, definitely check out their website. It's got all kinds of good stuff. But you can use this as well. It's exactly the same as uh, holding the saber. Uh, again, shorter so that if you're in cramped spaces, you can use it. That's why they were shorter, because ships are cramped spaces. You may be lucky enough to have at your disposal a saber trainer. So this one, like I said, is a uh, late Victorian saber trainer used in the Italian uh, armed forces probably their, their army. We also have a practice saber, and this is a uh, really beautiful fencing saber that is from the Victorian period. Uh, these are the best. If you can get them on eBay, then I recommend it. This one's, you know, many, you know, more, than, more than 150 years old, so it shows it, but you can see how beautiful backstrap is, ray skin, uh, grip, uh, painted red on the inside, would have been shiny on the outside. It's a beautiful blade, that's an original blade, and uh, still very serviceable. What I will be using, because I'm not hanging around any actual people besides my daughter who's helping us film, is this uh, practice uh, uh, cold steel uh, Prussian saber. So this Prussian saber is pretty nice. Uh, you can get these from anywhere uh, cold steel makes them and it, it's a very nice uh, reproduction of what a you know it gives you the good weight and feel and look of what a Victorian saber would have looked like so we'll be using this for the rest of the class